So, I am Chris from Soma Games and Code Monkeys, and today we wanted to take a chance to look at the Unity game engine. We first ran into Unity as iPhone developers, and I don't know if Unity existed before that. As far as I know, it rose up as a solution to uh, gaming on the iPhone and then has grown from there, but don't quote me on that. The thing is, is that if you're an iPhone developer, you may have heard that as many as 50 to 60% of the top selling games on the iPhone Center are actually Unity apps. I don't know that that's true, but that's what I've heard. And the biggest thing to know here is that if you're thinking about moving from the iPhone and porting over to the, the App Up Center, which we think is a great idea, Unity may be one of the best places to go for a port, but it's an even better place to go when you're just starting out because the best thing about Unity, besides it being just a freaking cool tool, is that from one source file you can export to five or six different platforms, including App Up iPhone, iPad, and then Windows and Mac executables as well that run in your browser. So it is a fantastic tool. It is super, super easy to use. Uh, we're gonna just cover a couple features today. The first one is how easy it is to import a 3D model, including texturing. It is a piece of cake, and we're gonna show you a couple shots from a tool we're doing here uh, for some World War I biplane shots. Um, we also are gonna look at how easy it is to uh, plug in an Xbox type controller. In fact, in this case, we're gonna be using the specific Xbox controller. We're gonna show you how it drives around our ship in, a, in some of our early prototypes for our upcoming game, F. We're also gonna look at the documentation, which is fantastic and absolutely necessary. Just briefly, I wanna show you about that. And then we're gonna show you a little bit about kind of the terrain editing map and, uh, and how, how simple it is to import a terrain. Um, and from there, we'll just kind of give you a couple of glimpses into what we've been doing, and hopefully you're going to have a good time from F. So there's the tug and one of the asteroids that we've got looming large above us, just as, uh, as examples. And this is something, this, this, uh, this version, this thing we got here, we made this in, I think, a total of like 15 minutes. Um, it was so easy to import, and, uh, and this thing that I'm flying around now is what they call a, a first-person object. So it automatically gives you camera control. Um, you drive it with your mouse and the whole uh, WSD uh, uh, tools. And then it, it automatically takes into account all kinds of stuff from velocity to gravity to lighting. Um, it comes with all kinds of these neat objects floating around here. Um, and so I, I wanna be clear, like this is kind of bare minimum what we got away with in almost no time. Um, and admittedly, this is sort of a, a, a an, an, uh, an, an example that they want to show off their stuff, so that's fine, but it's very, very cool. And uh, it, it took us almost no time to do it, which is just so cool. I can fly around this whole island. There's neat little things to discover. There's a crashed helicopter and the ruins, and this all just comes built in. It's, it's slick. I can fly over plains. I can fly down valleys. Um, there's waterfalls. There's a suspension bridge. It's just slick. Um, and I love the environmental effects are very easy. Um, and uh, I, I don't even barely have to even think about it. So this was one of the examples we just we used to really get into, into this, and we're absolutely impressed. One of the best things that we found is how simple it was to import 3D objects. So check this out. Over here in my folder, I have a uh, an FBX file, which is actually an export from Maya, and the texture that comes with it. If I want to import this into the thing. I just drag it into the, the materials inspector here. And so it's going to process this. It's going to take a couple seconds. Once the thing is imported into the library, um, all I got to do is drag it into the, drag it right into the thing. And uh, this is all, the way this is all designed is that I can uh, see it um, very, very easily. I can, I can manipulate it. I'm sure this is nothing uh, unusual to anybody. I can rotate it and spin it, you know, yaw and pitch and all that. And, uh, and then you'll see right now the, let me turn, I can turn some lighting on here. Right now the, uh, the, the texture is, is, is uh, applied incorrectly, but that is so simple to do. I can figure out which one of these textures that all, these come built in, or in our case, we just have the one that we want. Um, and by, swipping, by swapping out the, the right, um, mode of texture, it automatically textures it. Um, and as soon as that's in there, I can build it, and uh, it's gonna come out with the normal, I, in this case, I'll just go to uh, my normal window uh, viewer, 
Actually, I'm probably going to fall in gravity here, aren't I? Let's see, where did I put my... Now I've got to find out where I put the stupid thing. I think I know where it is. So I, I, I dropped it in over here. Let's drive over to see it. I hit the ground, but there's our airplane. And uh, it's a piece of cake. It's as, it's as simple as pie. And uh, these, these models come in really nice. It's very easy to redo them for higher or lower polys. Piece of cake to do that as well. Okay, one of the other things I really wanted to show that we thought was very cool and it gave us actually, like, it was just a great place to start, was how easy it was to uh, support an Xbox controller. So as an example, we've got kind of a, 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 a tug object here. Um, and if I want to plug in an Xbox controller, I go edit, project settings, input. And automatically over here on the right hand side, I've got all of my um, tools that sort of are, are automatically defined. We, in this case, you get a chance to see what we've been doing, but we've created a fire button and we, we map it very specifically to the, to the joystick button zero. And, it, and you have to kind of figure out what zero means because it's not specific to the Xbox, but it's easy enough. Um, we look at what uh, camera horizontal relates to, and this, in this case is uh, the X axis. And, uh, and we have two of these. One of them is the camera vertical for the keyboard, so this is key or mouse button. And we have camera vertical here, which corresponds to the joystick, fourth axis joystick. And you need to configure some of these things, but Honestly, we just plugged the Xbox controller in. It recognized what we wanted to do, and it started asking questions. It made it very, very simple. And once we did that, then building this, um, and this is what you're looking at. Is this going to be a very early sort of a test physics um, demo for uh, for F the Storm Riders? You get a chance to see um, what we've been working on here. Um, right now, you see the way this is designed is the mouse isn't going to be the functional controller. Instead, this is. And so we wanted to build something that was sort of like um, reminiscent of, of Descent, if you remember Descent. And I can drive my, my ship around with the controller. Forward and back here, I can rotate around. And uh, in this case, I've got airplane control, so up is down. And, uh, and I also can fire off my missiles. And in this case, if I am able to tag an asteroid, I can knock it ahead of me. Um, right now, this is just a physics playground box. We've got different uh, asteroids around here that I can drive up to, and I can ram. If I can, they're kind of hard to hit though, actually, because they start really cooking. Get in there, mm. and I can ram it into the way. And uh, we have to wind up knocking these things into the pocket. And so, here, I'll show you. This is one of the pockets. And oops. And uh, that's, a, that's a gravity well, is what we have there. I just ran into a wall, it's the easiest way to stop. These particle effects are free. They come right in the tool. And a piece of cake to add those in there, including the, the, par the particle that is the smoke cloud for the, for the, for the rocket ship, I'm sorry, for the missiles. Um, those are all freebies. If you're not familiar with Turbo Squid, you gotta get familiar with that, as well as uh, Sound Dogs. These are places where you get either free or very inexpensive assets, like 3D models, and, uh, and sound effects. You can download 50 sound dog effects you know, for next to nothing and, uh, and then just mix them up and make all your own tunes. That's how we got all the sound effects for G. One thing that's been great for us, especially for learning, is that we never bought a Unity book. Like, I, I don't doubt that they're out there. In fact, I'm, I'm certain there are, but we haven't needed to. The documentation inside of the app is fantastic. And a lot of the times you're in the script editor and you just uh, highlight a word and right click and it's gonna bring you straight to the documentation, tell you everything you need to know about that. On top of that, the community for Unity, like on the web forums, is unbelievably supportive. And uh, every time we've ever run into the Unity team, like at GDC or something, they are also so into their product that, uh, that they've just been wonderful to talk to. And, uh, and we've never had to give them a dollar, not yet. We need to upgrade uh, our, our engine here to, to export to iPad. But they are so good, and especially all the people who want to help from all these different angles, is a great, great place to start, and you'll never feel abandoned or left out. So that's kind of what we have time to show you for today. I gotta tell you, man, when we started looking into Unity, we were blown away at how cool this was, how easy it was. It's just a fantastic tool. And uh, in Unity, my address is at the bottom of the screen in beautiful downtown Newburgh for the check. Anyway, 
we just think it's a great tool and we really encourage you to check it out and uh, we're hoping to check out a couple other little tools for the whole game uh, making thing because this is where so much of the money goes.